here? What's the number? Clever girl. What the heck is this? Do not... It's a trap. Mayday, mayday, get out of here! What is going on, awesome peeps? It's Brent McCluskey here with Electrified Views. Did you miss me? You guys been enjoying watching Logan? He's doing awesome. I hope you guys are digging it. But today, I'm doing the review, and we are reviewing the Ace Sompton Q7. This is another one of those e-bikes with a very interesting motor setup. We've got the hub drive in the back. We've also got that mid-drive container in the front. Very interesting. We'll talk more about that later. First things first, of course, let's dive into the specs. A Sompton Q7 is a powerful electric mountain bike that will help you tackle the toughest trails and hills. With a 750 watt motor, detachable battery, and hydraulic brakes, the Q7 is built to perform. It's also got a pretty sleek design, enough travel on the front forks to take a drop here and there, a multifunctional LCD display with a USB interface, and a few other key features that we'll dive into here later on. The Q7 has a starting price of $1,999 USD and comes with a one-year limited warranty. A Somptum is a Chinese company that has been making electric bikes for several years, and they currently offer a few different models, but the Q7 might be their greatest offering yet. The Q7 is powered by a Bafang 750-watt motor, which is capable of reaching top speeds of 31 miles per hour. That's fast. It's advertised as having 85 newton meters of torque, and based on our riding, that feels about right. The motor offers five levels of pedal assist, so you can customize your ride depending on the terrain and your personal preferences. The Q7 also has a half-grip twist throttle, so you can get an instant boost of power whenever you need it. The Q7 comes with a detachable, lockable, 15 amp hour, 48 volt lithium battery, which can be charged using the included two amp charger. This isn't the largest capacity battery that we've tested on similar bikes, but 720 watt hours is more than enough juice for a heck of an afternoon. This battery is capable of providing a range of around 30 to 40 miles per charge with a mix of pedal assist and throttle use. If you're really cranking on the throttle and just scooting around, you're probably not going to get quite that much range here. The charge time is going to be around 6 hours, which is on the longer side, but not unreasonable for a battery of this size. The Q7 has a sleek and stylish 6061 aluminum alloy frame, which comes in either a black or gray color option. The frame is designed to be durable and sturdy with a maximum payload capacity of 400 pounds. That's way above average. The Q7 also has a nice mid-step design, which makes it easier to mount and dismount when compared with traditional step-over geometry. And this also provides a lower center of gravity for improved stability and handling. The Q7 comes equipped with a front suspension fork with 120 millimeters of travel and lockout and preload adjustment. This fork provides a comfortable ride and helps to absorb bumps and vibrations from the trail. And that extra 40 millimeters of travel when compared to other bikes in this category means you could probably get away with tackling some tougher terrain. 
The Q7 also has an oversized suspension cruiser saddle and 26 by 4 inch all-terrain puncture resistant tires, which provide a smooth and comfortable ride on a variety of different surfaces. And if you'll be riding at night, a Sompton was kind enough to include some sidewall reflective stripes on both the front and rear tires. The Q7 features hydraulic brakes with 160mm rotors on both the front and rear wheels. And look, given the fact that we're able to get up to some faster speeds here, a Sompton chose to go with hydraulic brakes on this bike and we are really glad that they did. During testing, they functioned well and allowed us to stop the bike when we wanted to, and more importantly, when we had to. With the ability to traverse some tougher terrain, it's awesome that we have the added safety of hydraulic brakes here. Definitely 10 extra points for a Sompton. To switch gears, we have a 7-speed Shimano Tourney derailleur paired with a Shimano SIS Index thumb shifter. And it's great, again, to see Shimano parts here, as you well know by now. These parts are easy to replace and easy to maintain. We've also got a metal chain guide, which should help keep your main sprocket from suffering a catastrophic failure should you find yourself smashing into a rock or a curb. The gearing here is also set up pretty well. If you find yourself pedaling without any battery, you might not enjoy that part as much, but it's definitely doable should you find yourself on the trail pretty far from your charger. The Q7 has an integrated headlight. And look, this headlight isn't necessarily bright enough to ride at night if you're going full speed, but it's definitely bright enough for slower speeds or if there are secondary sources of light like street lamps or something like that. I'd love to see the integration to the battery Big, big plus there. The Q7 doesn't ship with fenders or a rear light, which for most people might not be a big deal. Still, we'd rather see them included and give the rider the option to install or not install those. But as we said, for most people, this isn't going to be a deal breaker. The handlebars are mostly straight, but they've got a slight upsweep to them, making them feel a bit more ergonomic when compared to a true straight bar. We don't see an adjustable stem here, which could allow for a more upright riding position if desired, but if you're riding this bike as it was intended, having a more aggressive position might be the right call here. We've got a color LCD screen that gives us all the pertinent information. We can cycle through our levels of pedal assistance and turn on and off our lights with the standalone keypad on the left hand side. We don't get locking grips here, which would be a worthwhile upgrade in our opinion. This is an easy aftermarket part to swap out, but we'd like to see this included in future versions of the bike. Overall, the A Sompton Q7 is an off-road ready e-bike that is sure to be a fun and reliable ride. There are a few tweaks that would make this e-bike really stand out in the fat tire off-road space, but at a price of $1,999 USD, it's hard to complain about much. With another $100 to $200 in aftermarket upgrades, you'll be crushing any type of terrain as the e-bike marketers are so fond of saying. So that'll do it for our take on the Q7. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. And now it's time to do a bit more riding. So here we go. Oh, he caught me. All right, my amazing e-bike friends, that is it for the review of the Ace Sompton Q7. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. 
a wonderful holiday season and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, peace.